she said. I read that part. So rather de slinging than taking pee from bitches, you bringing my N word up trying to be, get me mad. Let's not talk about husbands now. So after she said that, um, let's not talk about husbands was trending, people. It was trending in the United States. Okay. Now, because that was trending, do you know what Nicki Minaj's favorite blogs went and did? They went and dug up some old ass footage and some old ass recorded without the person's permission ass footage of Jennifer Hoff talking to Black. Remember that Black is the person who um, tried to bribe Jennifer Hoff? We dropped those receipts on this channel. So why is it these blogs are putting up receipts from somebody who we've got receipts of here who tried to bribe Jennifer Hoff to recant, to recant her story. Essentially a criminal. Essentially a criminal. Give me one second, let me get some water. Yeah, body yaddy 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 yaddy. Body yaddy yaddy. Eat up! Eat up! No, I do not want to act. No, I do not want to act, you darling. And this show will tell you why. Pay attention. Pay attention as to why I don't want to F. Okay. <laughs> if, if you want a clue as to why, why I will never F you, just watch, just watch this show and you'll get a clue done. So why, why I will never F you, just watch, just watch this show and you'll get a clue done. So why the hell all the blogs, the Shade Room, On Site, Neighborhood Talk, all these blogs picked up that old ass footage that we have already debunked on this channel nearly a year ago last Christmas and then try to say that this was to prove that Jennifer Hoff was lying now let's get into that so because let's get let's let's not talk about husbands was trending after Cardi B has said what she said okay that's why these lot brought the brought up this 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 audio and this visual like like tales from the crypt let's get into it let's let's get into it Hit those likes. Make sure you're sending your donations for Virgo season. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel and make sure you have hit that bell. And if you're not sending no money, you might as well be subscribed and you, um, you might as well make sure that you set your notifications um, because you might as well try and get me monetized uh, before the end of the year and, and get me viral before the end of the year. You might as well do that. Please and thank you. Let me see. Where's this effing footage? Right, hang on. This is not it. They have not done a good job. Several, several, several places posted it. Here we are. Here's one. Limitations on perjury. Perjury is when you lie under oath. And regardless if I made a statement or didn't make a statement, that is the reason why I stood up in court and I said. When a judge acts like, yo, does anybody have anything to say before he is sentenced? I stood up and I said, Your Honor, I'm the person who pressed the charges. I would like to drop the charges. I made a huge mistake. Wow. This was a, like, I'm in court in front of his family, in front of friends, in front of everybody, like, whatever. And they was like, take it to the DA. And nobody wanted to hear shit. Because he probably didn't have a paid lawyer at that time. She didn't answer when he said that. You know a statute of limitation. It is so. Statute of limitation on perjury. If you know it's a professional or like a lawyer or something, uh -huh. you need to tell what to write. But did they offer? I, did they say if you recant your story, you're gonna go to jail? No. When you wrote the letter, no, and, all right. When you wrote the letter and gave it to the DA, what did they say? I wrote the letter, I gave it to the DA, and then I showed up at court. Oh. And I stood up, I stood up the professional board warrant. You know what I'm saying? Corey wrote a letter. Shut up. The judge specifically said, take it to the DA. And everybody looked at the DA, and the DA shook her head like, it's not happening. Like, oh, because cause they didn't want you, they didn't want you to go to court. Because you recanted right. your story, you told him it never happened, X, Y, Z, you was young, you was pressured, correct, right? Yeah. So that's why, yeah, but, so, yeah, so that's probably why 
they were so thirsty because they knew the case would have fell through the roof. Because if you'd have said that on on the stand, they never called me to the stand. They never uh, questioned. Oh, uh, that's the difference. Shut up! It, it, no, I told them. Oh, okay. Come on, listen. To say, like yeah. Zoo would tell you, I was at his court. Nobody have anything to say. Like yeah. Zoo would tell you, I was at his court. Nobody have anything to say. Like yeah. Zoo would. Oh. Okay, so that is that is the audio. Okay, that 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 you know sent everyone in the frenzy. Now let's go let's go over to Hot Shot Radio. Okay, so he's the one who has also been covering the story extensively, and he has been a key source of ours. Okay, so he posted about this as well when when all the blogs picked this up. Let's go to his receipt and what and his write up because he's actually interviewed Jennifer. This is his story. Okay, this is his effing story. So let's go over there. Have a listen and I'll give you my thoughts, okay? Okay. Because this is also our story, bitch. All right. All right. Okay, so he's part of the same audio that we just listened to, okay? And he wrote, now Kenneth Goons, a.k.a. Black, who is mentioned in the court documents, make sure you're keeping up with all our videos, okay? Barry... One of the third parties that bribed and threatened Kenneth Petty's victim, Jennifer Hoff, puts out a chopped up video call he had, uh, that a call he and Jennifer had before the most recent allegation surfaced. Jennifer was pretty much stating everything she stated on my show almost two years ago. The only difference is Black posted and edited certain parts of their conversation and conveniently left out the parts where he was telling Jennifer that he had a lawyer for her and that she wasn't going to get into any legal trouble if she recanted her story. Jennifer stated on several interviews with me that her foster family had pretty much forced her to go to court and say she wanted to drop the charges against Kenneth Petty because Kenneth and his goons were threatening Jennifer and her foster family in 1994 as well. Jennifer's foster mother had other foster children in the house and was, fierce, and was fearful for their lives. Jennifer went to court and stated she wanted to drop charges, but the state took matters into their own hands because they knew Jennifer had been awed Odd by Kenneth Petty via the rape kit evidence. Give me one effing second. Okay, the rape kit evidence. All right, all right. Girl. Why do you think, why do you think I report the way I report? Is it because I know Jennifer and I'm a fan of Jennifer? No, it's because the courts have co-signed it Ironclad that shit. The evidence is ironclad. That is why. Okay, so it's not because I'm up Jennifer's batty crease. That's that's not it, darling. It was always because the courts guilty, guilty via the rape kit evidence and via the evidence they had. Okay, okay, and via the the fact he took a plea deal. He took a plea deal and and, and admitted guilt. Okay, I don't care how old you were, darling. I was sixteen. At 16, I was working, had had bag of money on my own, okay, and enough for me to be moving on my own and buying my own shit, okay? There was no way I would ever get into such trouble. And number two, <laughs> there was no way, if it was if I didn't do it, if it was a lie, that I would admit that I did it. What the fuck is you people talking about? No matter what circumstances, no matter what hood, no matter what neighborhood, you grew up in there's no way that if you didn't do something as, as a 16 year old you would you would admit that you did it particularly rape darling what do you people think i'm fucking stupid you're the stupid one darling wear that dunce cap yourself wear that effing dunce cap yourself darling that's why i'm so effing mad because these lot think i'm fucking stupid That's that's why I'm so mad at all these people. <laughs> all these people. Okay. Okay, because you're trying to play an over you're trying to play an overachiever. That's what you're trying to do. It's not gonna end well. It's not gonna end well. Mm -mm, it's not. Okay, let's get these lips popping, bitch. Get them real mad. Mm -mm -mm. I don't want me to dim my brain for you, darling, because you're a dumbo, darling. 
never over my dead body. My brain is the most precious thing in my body. Of course it is. Of course it is. It's the most precious organ in any human's body. And you want me to dim my brain for you, a stranger, a stranger, and proven to be a nothing ass hood rat? You are your effing mind. So let's keep reading, darling. So that's so it's not even about what Jennifer said and the recordings for me. It's not none of that because it's because what it what it is is the fact that the courts have found that he was guilty. That's what it is for me. Welcome to our new subscriber. I think her name is Venetia. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that bell to set your, not your notifications. And if you're enjoying the show, send your donations for Virgo season. Okay, to that PayPal pin in the chat. Thank you so, so much. And in, the, and in the description box, okay? And that goes for you guys too, listening on Spotify and Apple. All right, head over to pharaohdiaries.com. Watch the YouTube visual to take part in all our promotions, uh, which are in the description box for IOP College and uh, for our YouTube course that is dropping soon. Uh, get, get registered for that. And you'll see the PayPal details as well in the description box. Thank you so much for your support and for supporting this black business. All right, all right. That is why I'm so effing mad, because these lot are trying to are trying to put a dunce cap on an overachiever who's been getting straight A's since they were five years old, darling. Okay, so let's let's get into this now. Um, where was I? Via the Jennifer's foster mother had other foster children in the house and was fearful for their lives. Jennifer went to court and stated she wanted to drop charges, but the state took matters into their own hands because they knew Jennifer had been awed by Kenneth via the rape kit evidence and the evidence of the weapon knife Kenneth used. Dot, dot, dot. Jennifer never wrote any letter to the courts, nor the DA. She was only telling Black what he wanted to hear at this point because she was afraid. Yeah, she looked like she was just... You know, those people who live in the hood, they know how to deal with these hood rats that, that, that pop up out the blue on some stupid ass shit. They know how to move better than me, bitch. I would, I would have told that that idiot to, to, to F off, okay? I would have told that idiot to F off straight away. And I would have probably, you know, but the, the, nothing would have happened because I've got the Holy Spirit on my side. That is why these bitches, you know, watch this show and, and, and can't F with me, darling. Can't F with me because they're indeed a rat, all right? They're, they're, a, they're indeed a rat. A rat. A, a dumbo. A, a dunce. A dunce, darling. Mm -hmm. Girl. I'm trying to come over, come, 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 come against someone who's certified, a certified genius. You are your fucking mind. I need to stop swearing. I need to stop swearing. We need to clean up the show. We need to clean up the show just right on time to get monetized. Hit those likes, okay? And uh, make sure you subscribe, darling. We need to clean up the effing show. We do. Okay. We're not losing this bag. That is for effing sure. Right, let's see, darling. These will be getting me so riled up. How how they be trying to play certified geniuses? A certified genius. Girl, make sure you're watching all our videos because I told you. I done told you, darling. I went to private school in Nigeria where they be measuring you and your intelligence from age fucking. So sorry, from from pretty much when you come out of your mum's pump pum and enter any school, they be matching you. They be segregating you in terms of intelligence. Their grades. You see how you guys have, you're in a class in, in the Western world and you have, you're in, you're in, say you're in middle school, you're in 5A, 5B, 5C, but the letters mean nothing. That is not what it is like in Nigeria. The letters mean something. If you're in 5A, it means that you're the best. A being the best. If you're in 1A, if you're in primary 1A, it means A, you are the best. And I was in primary 1A, darling. From primary one, I've been I've been slaying you, you people, when I was put and pitted against you people, darling, in the Nigerian school system, darling. In in a private school in Nigeria, all owned by Muslims, darling. Or whatever they were, Indians. Girl. Girl, what? Okay, so hang on a minute. Let's keep reading. Jennifer never wrote any letters to the courts, nor the DA. She was telling Black what he wanted to hear at this point because she was afraid. If there was any letter, 
Kenneth's lawyer would have definitely obtained it by now and used it in Kenneth's defense for his current civil case. But the 1994 uh, R case against Jennifer, for, uh, for the 1994 R, uh, R against Jennifer, let's read it again. Jennifer never wrote any letters to the court, nor the DA. She was only telling Black what he wanted to hear at this point because she was afraid. If there was ever a letter, Kenneth's lawyer would have, de would have definitely obtained it by now and used it in Kenneth's defense for his current civil case for the 1994 R against Jennifer. Okay. okay. The whole terrifying situation is due to the petties actually wanting and needing that recant letter that Jen never wrote. While, why y'all think they went so hard to convince Jen to sign that pre-typed letter the petties sent back to Jennifer with question mark, question mark, because they never found the so-called 1994 letter. Uh, uh, uh. So a bunch of headless chickens. A lot, a bunch of dumbos who should be wearing that said dunce cap. They'd be telling people to wear online. A joke, an absolute joke. So, so just because, uh, just because you know, um, let's not talk about husbands was trending. Minutes later, we saw all the blogs pick up that recording, that chopped up recording from somebody who. We have receipts on this channel who tried to who tried to bribe Jennifer, and these so-called professional blogs spread that everywhere. Why? Because Nicki Minaj, um, you know, allegedly gave the co-sign. Co Give me one second. Give me wife in a second. You messy ass bitch. No, no, no. Let me stop. Let me stop. Let me stop. Why else did every black blog pick up that recording? Why else? After let's 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 not talk about husbands was trending and Nicki Minaj also replied it looks like on Twitter she also replied to this let's not let's not talk about husbands on Twitter okay hoes are getting kicked out hoes are getting kicked out of this yard okay hoes are getting kicked out of these of, of these yard of this yard pick up your panty pick up pick up your clothing them you're getting kicked out of this yard all right Where, where, where is, um, where, where are those posts? Let me get up what, let's get into what next. Are we done with the stories in that caption? So, uh, we've talked about Sweetie's response. We've talked about, let's talk about husband. let's not talk about husbands trending. A lot of other shit was trending. Jennifer Hoff was also trending. Okay, on Twitter with a lot of support behind her. Uh, we also actually had some amazing ass tea from one of the fan pages, okay, who, 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 from what I can see, she has a glimmer of hope as to, as to making something worthy out of this art and making some legit art out, out of what she does. Okay. Let's go to what she retweeted and what she, what she posted. Let's go, go into that recording. This is a recording, apparently, of Kenneth Petty threatening his ex-girlfriend red bone no who i also showed you receipts on this channel who turned up assaulted with a bleeding nose and her nose splattered on the ground blood splattered on the ground okay attacked by who else who else let's get into this receipt You see that? That is her face after he beat her up. After he threatened to kill her. Let me listen because it was low. I'm gonna kill you when I catch you, watch. Run your mouth to fuck up my business. I'm gonna kill you when I catch you, watch. That's how these losers operate because they're mad because God don't like them. God don't want them. God don't want you, darling. You're mad because you, you're face to face with what this planet is built on, bitch. What is what this planet is built on, on religion, bitch. You're mad because you're face to face with that. So you're mad. 
So you're gonna kill your way through, darling, bitch. Come on, bitch. Oh, let's fly. I'm playing on that, bitch. I dropped the Addy a long time time ago, bitch. You want Britain to fucking drop on? Oh, let me stop. Let me stop. When I'm done with you, it will be. It will be a war. It will be a war between Britain and and, and United States. Eck it with me, bitch. When I'm done with you, when the press is done with you, as you try to come at me, darling, you try to come at me, oh, bitch, the, the special relationship will be over. Citizens will be at risk. Fucking with me, all right? What one with you? I'm trying to clean up my channel to get this shit monetized. And, 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 and y'all don't get it. This is what these lot do. This is what this bit these bitches do. Watching this channel as we speak, trying to plot and plan, but their plans are indeed to shit because they realize they're face to face with God, essentially. Okay. You, you, you liar. You liar. All right, guys. So that, that is that receipt of Kenneth Petty threatening to kill his ex-girlfriend, Redbone No. And she did it, of course, turn up beaten up. Beaten black and blue, you sick bitch. His ex, his ex-girlfriend came against me and she didn't survive. You clown, you goofy, you evil old witch. Girl. Girl. <laughs> Girl, we've got some more cases really that really need to come down the pipe, in my opinion. In my opinion, we've got some more cases that really need to come down the pipe for these lot, in my opinion. Okay, okay. Right, guys. So uh, that is all the stories in the caption. All right. Running this gob as well. Okay. You know, got himself involved in the, in the whole uh, back and forth going on with let's not talk about husbands. He also said that he reached out to Jennifer Hoff for an interview. Okay. Now, actually, it's pause. Jennifer Hoff also put out a statement. Okay. Essentially saying that she also wants to be left alone. She's not interested. It's giving like she's not even interested in, in doing interviews. And, and I think that is a good thing, Jennifer. Um, because these lot are some messy ass bitches. Like, like she she's not interested in you lot talking to you lot. She went to the real, she she did the major interview, and that is good enough. Okay. Talking to Jason Lee, it gives messy boots. So um Jason Lee said, So I want to hear everything from Jennifer directly. If she's lying, I'll be the loudest person to condemn her. But if she stands behind her stuff, baby, a lot of people gonna gotta answer questions. By the way, the reason why they're coming for me is I'm not afraid to say what everyone is saying. Yesterday, Cardi says her husband don't take pee, as in pussy. Uh, then right after a video of Jennifer drop, then right after a video of Jennifer drops on all on all the other blogs, trying to discredit her. Exactly, that's not no coincidence to me. Okay. Um, by the way, I reached out to Jennifer Hoff for an interview. Jason also said. Let me make it clear. We document everything. We, we document everything over everything. So no, so no, we document everything over here. Sorry, it was cut off. Everything. So no receipt will ever be dropped on me that can't be debunked. And I'm never alone. Ha, 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 bitch. No. Anybody who allows their fan base to threaten to harm people, make up baseless allegations, and then fan the flames are responsible for anything that happened. Exactly. Um, sorry, we've got some text messages here. Okay, so so Jason Lee posted up some receipts, okay, showing that he reached out to Tyrone Blackburn, it looks like. Uh, let's get into it. So Jason said, so let me leave this with y'all. So, so, so before we get into the text messages, text messages, sorry, I'm talking too fast because I want to round up. Uh, Jason said, before we get into those text messages, he said, so let me leave y'all with this for now. I have work to do. Y'all wanted to try me. Let's get into it. So then he posted these receipts, okay, which I'm reading to you now, these text message receipts. So it says, in court, we'll call once I leave. So I'm guessing that's Tyrone. I'm guessing this is Jason saying, okay, do you still rep Jennifer? Then this person replies, which I'm guessing is Tyrone. Yes, I do, uh, Jennifer Hoff's lawyer. Yes, I do. The clip, the, the video clips online are, hev are, are oh, sorry, the video clips online are old, heavily edited clips between Jennifer and Black. Nikki's team should post the entire conversation and not just snippets. We are not worried, exclamation mark. 
In fact, the Queen's DA is in the process of compiling over 200 pages of documents stemming from 1994-5 rape hearing and conviction, which we will use in our civil case against Kenneth. So, so the more this shit is happening, the more actually uh, this case gets worse for Nicki Minaj and Kenneth Petty. Because I said, as I, I predicted, that more charges uh, are coming down the pipe. Give me one effing second. Because you think these people are playing with you, you know, essentially wit witness tampering, threatening a witness on a, on a solid ass uh, R case. People are playing, are playing around. Goofies. Real goofy. Real goofy. Okay. So, that is what Tyrone had said. Now, guys, let's get into Jennifer Hoff's statement. I hope, I, I hope I've still got this because, okay, good, I have still got it. Hi, Jennifer, if you're watching, okay. So, uh, Jennifer said, I just want to be left alone, comma. I don't talk to anyone. I'm tired of getting harassed. I don't talk to blogs and I damn sure can't manipulate the media the way that these people are. Mm -hmm. Victim shaming and blaming is never okay. Sometimes I wonder if 16 year old me should have never said anything because it seems like over 20 years later, it still caused me nothing but pain. I pray that if you all or anyone you love ever found themselves in my shoes, that your compassion and support would be much different regardless of who your abuser decides to associate, associate themselves with. These lot sell their soul to a, to a fucking nothing ass rapper, a rapper. She also said, I've tried to move on with my life, but every time you, but every time I'm reminded of how, sorry, so I'm just, I'm still, I'm still just thinking, thinking of that last bar. Yikes, I'd be, I'd be cracking myself up. I've tried to move on with my life, but every time I'm reminded of my painful past that I still struggle to deal with privately, publicly. I never wanted to go public. I never wanted to have to discuss these painful memories with the world. I was forced into that because of lies that were being told about me and my story. My story has never changed. But the, con but the constant manipulation by the media is what continues to cause confusion. Now, funny enough how we ran an art a, a, a story due the day about People magazine uh, raining on Nicki Minaj's parade, okay, with that Who Is Kenneth Fetty article. Funny how literally the next day after I ran that story, they put out a story talking about Papa Bear, meet Papa Bear or something like that. I saved that article. Okay, let's keep reading this and, and, and I'll, I'll, we'll go back to that in a second. You all think I'd be, sat, I'd be sat here talking real shit. There's a lot of people sickly obsessed with this platform, like sickly obsessed with this platform. You know that they're obsessed with British people anyway. You know they're obsessed with Brits. There are people out here who are sickly obsessed with this platform and they're giving me so much clout so much clout wow you're giving me all this clout thank you bitch thank you people magazine had to screw screw did you get on the blower to people magazine did you get on the blower to people magazine the day have to then Put out a positive article about Papa Bear. You see, Nikki be making these moves, thinking that we don't know that she be making these moves, allegedly. Like, girl, we see you, boo. We can see you. We can see you. How the hell, just the next day after I ran that article about People Magazine shitting on your number one, they come out the next day or a few hours or hours later talking about meet Papa Bear. Girl... Girl, girl. Let's 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 go back to reading uh, Jennifer's Jennifer's reply and response. <sighs> Hit those likes. We've made it, people. We've made it, Pharaohs. We made it. That that spider did not die. Of my painful past that I still struggle to deal with privately, publicly. I never wanted to go public. I never wanted to have to discuss these painful memories with the world. 
I was forced into that because of lies that were being told about me and my story. My story has never changed, but the constant manipulation by the media is what continues to cause confusion. Even when it was claimed that I was a white woman falsely accusing a black man of a crime, I remained silent until I began to be contacted by individuals who had the audacity to want me to recant my story to help my abuser with his current legal issues. A bum. A fucking bunch of bums. Girl. She said, oh, we've read all the court documents. We've read all the documents here. We've read about the weapon being a knife. We've read it all. Search Kenneth Petty. Search Nicki Minaj on this page and you will get it all. If you're, if you want to know the full story. Okay. Um, as much as I can tell, as much as I can tell. Okay. But Jennifer Hoff does follow this channel. So I think I'm doing a good enough job of telling her story. All right. Uh, she said, I was 16 years, I was 16 years old when I was violated with a knife. Even then opening up about what happened to me was putting me and my family in danger. As a result of the threats that followed my foster family, encouraged me to drop the charges in court, despite my personal pain and feelings. I've stated this on the real, on the real and countless other interviews on other platforms. This is the same thing that I was opening up about in this resurfaced clip. Ah, these people, are, these people are sick. Their fans are sick and slow. Here's the spider in a perfect spot. Uh, my story has never changed, but the constant manipulation by the media is what continues to cause confusion. Even when it was claimed that I was a white woman falsely accusing a black man of a crime, I remained silent until I began to be contacted by individuals who had the audacity to want me to recant my story to help my abuser with his current legal issues. Okay, so that is what she said. That is all her statements. And now let's move on. So let me see this article by People, what the actual headline was about Meet Papa Bear, because I saved that too. A day after we ran our story that People were... were